Tyson Forster shot stopped by Verbetic. Verbetic standing tall, and it's another turnover. Frasca shot right into the glove of Verbetic. Here's a turnover. Brandon Coe, the lane to the net. Backhand scores. What a shot there by Brandon Coe to open the scoring. Arnsby in flight, left side circle, Rich shot scores. And the Greyhounds content to keep the puck to the outside. But out comes Arnsby. Chance for Christopoulos, a hard shot. Nelson, down low for Tebek, puts it across, and Verbetic somehow kept that one out. I'm joined by Ryan Ulihan, head coach of the North Bay Battalion. Just to get things started, you know, after a challenging 2019-20 season, do you feel like you guys are playing with something to prove this year? Oh, of course. Um, you know, I think... Probably everybody because of what the pandemic has done here, but certainly for us, you know, when you go back in time a little bit, we do feel like, you know, our season got short on, on a potential playoff run. We were making really good strides near the end and, and kind of going into those last few weekends with a chance at, at a playoff berth. So, um, you know, yeah, we, we feel like there's something to prove. There's something that um, all of us here in this organization, we want to have better years ahead of us and, and we want to get off to a good start and doing that. Excellent. Well, lots of young talent to look forward to, I guess, headed by last year's first overall pick and Ty Nelson. What has impressed you most about about the younger guys, especially in this, you know, this unique season where maybe you haven't had the chance to see everyone play as much as you'd like? I think what has been unanimous uh, with that younger group coming in is the level of work ethic that these guys have had. Uh, you know, maybe that's a little bit again with missing a season and and, uh, you know, nobody's taking the game of hockey for granted anymore. But certainly so far early on, we've been able to push these guys and they've wanted more and more and more. Uh, so I think that's been, you know, the most uh, interesting thing that we've noticed is just that level of work ethic, which is great. That's great to hear. Uh, well, maybe you can kind of walk us through what's to come for this team and what's going to make this team so exciting this year. Uh, we'll start up front with the, the offensive depth of the squad. Yeah, well, and I think you said it there. I think probably the strength for us up front is that we are going to have the depth. Um, you know, I think we're going to be able to play with pace. I think we're going to have all lines kind of going and, and being able to contribute. Um, so that's going to allow us to play an aggressive style. Uh, you know, I, I think there's some, some guys that are going to need some breakout seasons in terms of, you know, getting the offense rolling. Uh, again, and that's going to be around the league because we just didn't see that happen last year. So there's going to be guys, I think, that are going to surprise. Uh, but certainly, you know, our strength and, and how we want to attack and, and play the game, we're going to need depth. Are you able to kind of walk us through some of those those exciting players to watch up front this year? Sure. Yeah, well, I, I think uh, first and foremost, it's going to be guys like Kyle Jackson, you know, that uh, can make those big steps up front. Liam Arnsby, um, Alex Christopoulos, who, if you go back a couple of years ago, was really on a, a scoring streak, you know, and, and uh, at 16 years old, really caught on fire. Uh, Matt Vey Petrov coming over from Russia. Um, you know, we've got to see a little bit of him and he can really shoot a puck and, and find the back of the net. Uh, and then it's just some of the, the young players as well that I think are going to be ready to to play some minutes in, in terms of Dallin Wakeley and Owen Van Steensel. And um, I mean, I really could go on and on and, and, and through the lineup, there's a lot of depth for us and, and a lot of guys that kind of have different things too, whether they can really shoot a puck, whether they're great on the floor check. Um, so, you know, we're not too sure about how the, the chemistry is looking. We want to get some exhibition games and some games under our belts, but um, certainly there's some intriguing players up there to watch. All right. So lots of depth up front. Uh, maybe you can speak to the battalion blue line and, and what's to come there. That's probably been, uh, you know, the biggest area of, of kind of reconstruction over the, the last little bit. Um, you know, Simon Rose and, and Avery Winslow will be veteran players coming back there. Um, but then in, in terms of some of the young guys, you mentioned already Ty Nelson, um, Tanias Mathurin, uh, some of those those younger players that are going to be able to come in and, and play big minutes for us right away. Uh, so I think that's key. And and then again, it's kind of been the theme of our group. It's we're going to rely on our depth. We're going to rely on everybody being able to play. 
Uh, hopefully having guys fit in different roles, whether you're a penalty killer or a power play guy. We also feel like, you know, we have a good blend of offensive guys and, and guys that can you know, take care of their own end, um, you know, and, and, and have that kind of, you know, their own end as their priority. So uh, maybe blending those, th those players together will be key. Um, I'm also leaving out Paul Christopoulos, who had a really good 16 year old year. And, and I think he's going to be able to make big steps for us as well. All right. And we have recently drafted uh, Montreal Canadiens pick Joe Verbetic in net. How much of a strong player of the team are expecting him to be this season? Yeah, we're, we're excited for that. Uh, for sure. Uh, Big Joe is going to be uh, somebody that has a mainstay back there in the pipes for us. Um, you know, we really felt kind of awful for him not being able to play last year, you know, in his draft year and, and, um, you know, we saw him being able to take those big steps even even a year ago. So uh, but now he's 19, you know, he's he's off to an NHL camp right now, getting tons of experience. So to have somebody like that kind of be that mainstay in the pipes, um, you know, that's that's a really good start to, you know, to kind of build your team around. Awesome. So much to look forward to in North Bay. And, you know, first full season as head coach for you. What does the opportunity mean to you as, uh, you know, a former captain with this franchise? Yeah, you know, it, it means a lot to me. It, it really does. Um, it has a special place in my heart is the battalion. I got to, you know, kind of grow up as, as a young hockey player, um, being drafted by the organization, as you mentioned, being able to be a captain. And, and even all the years as an assistant coach, you know, having tons of success and, uh, I really do feel like I bleed green. Uh, I've talked about it a lot about, you know, the meaning, what it means to me personally about putting the jersey on. And and so I, when I talk to our players, I feel like I have a little bit of that sentimental approach. And, uh, you know, I, uh, again, a special feeling that I have for this organization. So um, that bodes well. And, and I just love, you know, living the dream right now in, in terms of being around these young guys and doing everything we can to, to get better every day. Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Ryan. Thanks for having me.